everybody welcome to another video unboxing review on the channel we're bringing you another 1 10th scale statue this is the dilophosaurus from iron studios part of their 1 10th scale line <clears throat> now of course i wanted to get this dinosaur for my 1 10th dinosaur line uh, i thought this dinosaur looked really cool i had a really memorable scene in the movie and actually do plan to get the 1 6 version eventually from prime one studios but here's the box uh slightly long for a one tenth scale, but we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up, and see what we think. So it looks like it's really just two pieces here. So this has the exact same base as the Velociraptors. They're really just reusing them, I think. But here it is. These are not numbered, and this is just one whole piece, which is always something you want with a dinosaur. You don't want seam lines or anything like that. <clears throat> So you can see the extra protection here. I will use my foot. I am holding my camera with my other hand, doing the whole one-handed unboxing. Alrighty. And there we go. So that is it. Check that out. Very cool. He looks bigger than a Velociraptor. I wonder if this uh, dinosaur is bigger than a Velociraptor. But he does look a little bit bigger. <clears throat> I'll put them side by side so we can truly see. But let's go ahead and get him in this room so we can Alrighty. So I need to Make sure I angle him good. Eh, he's maybe actually slightly smaller. Never mind. So I'm probably gonna need to put him right there so his tail can fit. So right now that tail will hit. Unless I do it like this. Nope, there we go. Just like that. The Dilophosaurus. Boom. Initial impressions, it looks great. I like it. Uh, definitely, you know, if you're collecting the 110th Iron Studios dinosaur line, something you'll want to add. Great cheap way to add a Dilophosaurus to one's collection. Yeah, like I said, the bases are all very similar where it's just the Jurassic Park logo. And let's check out his body first. So he has these blue with a white outer line. There's a bunch of white spots. I'm not sure if that's dust or how the paint's supposed to look. I'll need to check the prototype, but I think it's how it's supposed to look. Cause there's a lot of it. <clears throat> just a standard pose, nothing super special, but clearly the highlight is that face. That looks very cool. That, I'm not sure what that thing on his neck is called, a gill, I don't know what it's called, but it looks cool. It's quite big, you know, as you can see here. Overall, it's pretty cool, though. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It is a little long, but it looks good. Now, this ran, I think, $120. Uh which is decent considering what you get. I noticed in general, Iron Suits has really been raising their cost on these one tenths where they started out at like 50 to 70 bucks, then about 95, and then it went to 120, then 160. Now it seems like most releases lately are over $200, <clears throat> which really does make me want to get out of collecting the one tenths. Like I haven't ordered the Goro or Shao Kahn because I simply feel they're too expensive. And so I'm not looking to get any more one tenths outside of my pre-orders. Uh, maybe the Cave Troll. I'm still trying to decide between that and the Weta. Although I'm leaning more towards the Weta just because it 
is more detailed, made by the original people who sculpted the cave troll. Uh, comes with two orcs and it's, you know, only 500 more. But the Lotful Source does look great. So if you're on the fence, I would definitely jump on it. Now, originally I actually pre-ordered this through Iron Studios, paid my $12 non-refundable deposit. And I got an email that it was ready to ship. And then I checked Sideshow's website. Sideshow had it there as well. And I happened to have a $25 off coupon. And I know Iron Studios, once you pay for it, it takes them a month to ship it. So I just decided to go through Sideshow. I'm like, you know what? With the $25 coupon, it's actually still cheaper to go through Sideshow and I'll have it in two days versus going through Iron Studios. I'll pay slightly more and I'll have it in a month. So in general, I'm not really gonna be ordering from Iron Studios direct just because it's horrendous customer service. The whole sales process is beyond horrible and they take a month to ship where Sideshow, I paid for it, shipped same day, had it two days later. Sideshow is like clockwork, you know, they ship your stuff pretty much same day almost always. On rare occasions they don't. Iron Studios, not once have they shipped a statue same day paid. It's always been at least two to four weeks minimum. But if you are interested in ordering from Iron Studios, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can order this. Otherwise, it's a nice little uh, statue. Looks great next to the Velociraptors here and just a little one-tenth scale dinosaur setup I got going here. Of course, the highlight is that T-Rex when it comes to the one-tenths, but I did want to get some of the other dinosaurs in one-tenths. I'm not really interested in a Triceratops or any of those. I would love to get uh, some Jurassic World. You know, if they made a one-tenth blue, I'd probably get it. A one-tenth uh, Indominus Rex or the Indoraptor, I'd probably get those in one-tenth. Even if I get the larger scale, I still would love to get the one-tenths. But there it is. Let me know, know your thoughts and comments below. I still do plan to get the one six version of the Dilophosaurus, and I want to place it right there. I'm very confident it will fit. And then I would simply just remove that Velociraptor and put it on the other side of the collection wall. You know, I can rearrange some things and definitely fit it over there. I do like this one. It is actually quite well, and it's the original male Velociraptor. I believe it's male. You see some boys down there. Where blue doesn't have that. But let me know your thoughts and comments below. Hope you all enjoyed this uh, quick little unboxing review of the Iron Studios Dilophosaurus. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.